Good morning, our buddies. This is really early for me, but I'm sitting here fussing at my desk and no one was on. So I thought I'd pop on while I'm prepping and messing around with my stash here of um, gel printed fabric. And I couldn't find my mouse because it was <laughs> it was buried in all the rubble. So listen, I don't know if anybody will be around this early, but let's just see. Uh, quite some time ago, I did the um, gel printing on fabric, which I love, but it's just been sitting in my drawer and I was rooting around the other day. I wonder if this will tear. I was rooting around the other day in my uh, file cabinet I thought, you know, I got to do something with all that fabric. And I recently fall. Hey, good morning, Gail. I didn't expect to see you this early. Hey, Kel. Um, I thought I got to do something with this. And recently I've really fallen in love with soft-sided journals. And I just love making journals. So I thought, well, maybe I can make some little mini journals with some of this fabric. I do like to tear it. That's probably really too narrow. Well, we'll see. So I thought I would iron what I have. Good morning, Sherry. And pin some of this together. I like to pin it together, stitch around it, turn it inside out. And then maybe do a blanket stitch or do something else on the outside and sew some different things on, on it. So that's what I'm prepping. I'm prepping to do that stuff. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to move my sewing machine over here. I probably won't be on too terribly long. I don't know. I don't know because I want to gel print later. See, I'd like to gel to work on the gel plate. And I like some of the cool things you get. But quite honestly, all the paper that I do, I don't use it for anything because it's usually too crazy and wild to use in, in my journals. So I thought, hey, Carla, good morning. I thought maybe I would be a little more selective and uh, maybe think a little bit about what I want to print. So this is just some fabric that I already gel printed on. I mean, some of it's kind of cool. But then I thought maybe some of you guys might have some tips for me too. Does anybody else um, yeah, backgrounds. But see, if I'm making journals and I'm really kind of trying to, to focus on that maybe a little bit more um i can't use them as pages they're just some of them are just too crazy you know if i'm doing um something in one of my own journals yes you are exactly right they do make great or even you know like if you're a card maker somebody that might be watching uh, might be a card maker and they can use them for backgrounds and do some cool stuff but see, that's just not me. Now look at this one. Hot pink, orange, peach. See, I love those colors. And for a journal cover, I might be able to get away with it. Yeah, you've used them for cards? Yeah. Now this fabric, I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it was a um, maybe a pillowcase or something, but when I tear it and cut it it gets all this fuzzy nonsense out that you can't get off your fingers and it's like everywhere in my drawer i don't know if this stuff tears see i've got a lot of seaming there i don't know that i need to use that i wonder if i have anything that will go with this one pardon my reach Hmm. Oh, 
lot of people really like purple, you know, because ideally what I want to do is, you know, make these little journals and pop them in my Etsy shop. Now look at that. And I whacked that apart for something. I don't know if that's going to be good for anything. Oh, wait a minute. I like this. I like this one. But see, that's just a little strip. Let's see if I can get rid of this. So I'm just kind of messing around. It's got a synthetic base, so it's 100% natural. Oh, you think that's what it is? Oh, thanks, Carla. I decided to take my nails off and give my nails a little bit of a break. The nails that I wear, of course, you glue them on. And uh, between each changing of the nails, you clean them off. But I don't think I do an especially great job of that. So I've been having trouble with some sticking on. Hey, good morning, Pam. So I thought I would give them a rest for a couple of days and then maybe soak my hands in some Dawn. And uh, I've got quite a few, well, not quite a few. I've got three or four sets in the wings here. It's going to be hard to decide what set to put on next. <laughs> so welcome in, everybody. I know it's early. Now, see, this is cute, but this has got... The other thing, too, well, that would be too many. If you are making a small journal or a cloth journal, um, I don't like the wrong side to, to, to be there. Because that's the in, that would be your inside cover. So that's why I'm thinking if I stitch some of these together, I could turn them inside out. And then either stitch around the outside or hand stitch. Why do I want to soak in Dawn? Well, when you do... Um, because I want to get all the debris off of my nails. And it cleans it cleans stuff off really well. And when I go when I used to go for a manicure, they would soak my hands, you know, just a regular manicure, not a acrylic thing. They would soak your fingers in um a little dish detergent and a little dish, you know, and clean them up. So why not? Do you think I'm cray cray? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. I know the answer. Look, look at all the fuzz. See, now this one I don't like. Hey, Stacy, good morning. Um, because this is on a cream colored background and this is white. So I want something white. Whoops. Something just, oh, that was my. Some just hit the deck. Some just hit the deck. I'm rooting through my pile of stuff here. It's so funny. The lag is, is so funny. I see people saying hello to people that I haven't seen. Oh, or maybe it's my eyes on the screen. I misread the words. That could be. How's everybody doing this morning? All right, so I don't want that together. Let's see what else we got here. See, now I think that might look cute on top of a piece of denim. I got a little piece of denim here. Let 
Okay, I'm not a professional, you know. But that Dawn takes crap off of everything. I know some of the girls that use these uh, glue-on nails, I think they soak their nails that they take off in Dawn to help clean the back so they're reusable, you see. But you're, oops, you're coming from a different angle because you're a, you're professional. Now, this, of course, would not be a small journal. I'd have to. I kind of like how that, I kind of like how that looks, so. But I could just stitch that on that way. This is an idea. So I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin it and then see what's what. could take off that bottom piece but see I like that can you see me oh I'm out of screen I like that blue blob there it's not crazy I like that blue blob so is anybody working on anything I just gave the puppy a bone I guess she's tired of it already she's off Bones here. She's gone. So that's another idea there. And some of these I might have to just let go, you know? See, now I could probably use this for Gail says, nope, not for over a week. Lori, I haven't. Felt well enough and otherwise busy. Crocheting a chicken. Oh, Gail, is it still your neck? You're not getting any relief. I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds interesting. Crocheting a chicken. Well, let's see. I thought I had a piece of. Oh, that's to decorate. So I want something on the back side of this one. Hey, Cindy, good morning. Now, this I printed on. Oh, you know what? My camera's all wacky. I didn't even straighten it up. Um, your neck and headaches. Uh, oh, you are? That sounds like a good plan, Gail. Kelly, it's tearing it up with that beating. Oh, my gosh. Girls, you should see some of her stuff. Kelly, do you post it on your Facebook page? I'm terrible with Facebook. Now, why I decided to print on this piece of linen, I cannot tell you. Let me iron this one. You have several pieces you need to post. Okay, keep an eye out for Kelly Ann's. Facebook page. She's doing some beautiful beating. 
some beautiful beaded jewelry. I mean, she showed me a bracelet yesterday that was, oh, and a ring. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful stuff. Hubby went to church and usually puts up the gate so the pup stays in the kitchen and then in my room here. But today he didn't do that, so she's being kind of quiet. But she might have been, she was running around and we were playing this morning. Of course, she gets up pretty early. And so she might be ready for a nap. Now, I'm just trying to decide how I want. See, I would like that to be the front cover. But that's really not going to work that way because of where I did it. See, I don't know if you can see. This has um, a design in there that you really can't see because of, I, because of my um, jelly printing. All right, so... If I would do it like that, this of course wouldn't be a little one. My numbers would be sideways. Yeah, Kelly sure, Kelly and sure does for sure. Yeah, it's a vintage. Um, I think it might be. I don't know. It might be a placemat or a napkin, actually, Cindy. Because of its size, I'm thinking that's what it might be. I'm thinking about cutting it. So I can have this for my front. But how do I want to cut it? If I cut it that way. See, it's got this neat um, work around the bottom. So if I cut it, I'm not going to have that at the top. But I could put lace at the top. I'm just going to do it. Worry about it later. All right, so what Cindy say? She's lived in Mississippi for five years. I've not made one friend. Don't understand these people. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can help you with that. I know I don't make too many friends because, but that's on me because I don't, um, I don't get involved. Well, we live in a 55 plus and there's all kinds of activities, but see, I'm just not interested in that. So I don't go do it. So my husband makes all the friends, not me. I keep saying I don't like people, which is not really true. But I just don't like um, putting myself out there and mingling and all that jazz. Yeah, I just don't. A lot of the stuff I'm just not interested in, and that's okay. Um, but it's the same way if I, if I would go to church, you know, you have to, 
you have to go and do stuff and be around people and be able to mingle and talk to strangers. And that's very difficult for me. Where have you tried to meet people, um, Cindy, if I might ask? Do you, are you involved in a church? Do you still work? Um, do you live in a neighborhood where there are activities? I mean, because it seems like you craft ladies are my real friends. I tried church. Same thing here. Hmm. Yeah. It was easier when my kids were young because we had that in common. You're the same too, Pam. <laughs> yeah, Ron would, Ron's my husband. He would, um, he's gone to a couple different churches since we've moved to Jersey. And look, I'm out of, I'm out of pins already. And yet, well, you weren't a complete stranger. I knew you from from here, Cal. So I just, I don't know. I just felt like that was the thing to do. And it was, right? Okay, Gail. And, um, but it was easier when the kids were little because we had the kids in common. But see, like my husband, since we've moved to Jersey, he has been involved with a couple different churches. The one church, wait a minute, I got to grab more. I got to grab more straight pins here. Um, he joined the choir. And uh, it was around Christmas time. He loved to sing. Well, we both used to sing when we were single in um, a church group. <clears throat> And uh, he comes home one night and he says, "So yeah, we're going to the uh, choir director's house for dinner." I'm like, "I'm like, we're what?" Oh my gosh, I could have thrown up. <clears throat> but see, he likes to go to all the church picnics and stuff like that. But see, he doesn't have trouble um, mingling. You know, he'll talk to anybody. He was in sales for years, and. It's just his personality, and he can do it. So if we went to a church picnic, see, I'd, he'd, he'd leave me high and dry. I'd be standing by myself, and he'd be off, you know, yapping it up and talking to people and having a great time in there. Now, see, if you gave me a job, if you said to me, okay, we're going to go to a church picnic, but they need somebody to stand behind the food table and serve potato salad, you know, I'm, I'm good. I can do that. I can, I can do that. No problem. That's good for me. But to just throw me, it's like throwing me to the wolves. And the people are very nice. It's just like you're friendly. You like to be with people. Aw. But also, like my alone time, I don't know. I've prayed so much about it. Aw. Well, maybe I, we can all help you with that. Maybe we can all start praying about that. Somebody would send you somebody special. You know, I used to say, um, to, um, a friend who might, you know, feel the same way. Look for that person who maybe looks like, um, they need a friend, you know? And reach out that way. And just be a friend to the unfriendly. I don't know. Just pick one person. And see if you can find something in common. I don't know. Hey, Mitz. Good morning. Now, see, this is a nice little piece of muslin. And that this could be the liner of a, uh, of a little journal. Let's see what I have. That's all wrinkly crinkly, which isn't too bad. A lot of loose little threads.
But, you know, if I'm honest, I mean, when we moved into this neighborhood, um, the lady two doors down moved in. She was 86. And, of course, Ron went and knocked on her door and met her. He said, she seems nice. She's 86. She's having trouble with her garage door. So I helped her and told her if she needed anything to let me know. And I just felt like we should invite her to dinner. So we invited her to dinner. She came down. We had spaghetti. And that's my friend Betty. We talk every day. I don't necessarily feel like I need to talk every day. But she does. And it's fine. And, um, you know, we were able to build a friendship. But both parties were willing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really hard. I know it can be really hard. Especially if you don't work. How did you land in Mississippi? That's a question. That's the question I have. Got to be other Yanks down there. Of course, I years ago had a friend at church from Mississippi, born and raised in Mississippi, but she was lovely. See, now this has a not too bad pattern from my gel printing. But on this side, see, like if I just put If I just put, um, maybe I could do this one this way. See, if I just cut it and put pages in here, then this looks yucky to me. No, that's fine, Cindy. That's fine. And I like to um, chat, you know, through um, Instagram or Messenger. You could, if you feel like chatting, you can always send me a message. I'll chat for a while till I fall asleep. Right, Kel? <laughs> I fall asleep. Sometimes I don't even know. Yak away. That's it. <laughs> But see if I stitch this one this way and then turn it inside out. Might be a, that might be a cute cover. So I have to do opposite. Hey, there's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you feeling? I have a hard time cutting fabric so it so and it cuts straight so that it doesn't wiggle. I doze frequently. I do. I'm getting up a lot earlier than I'm used to. Some little puppy that moved in. Oh, your friends all moved. Don't you have um you have a brother or something that's not too terribly far away, right? Yeah, to, to relocate um can be expensive, I would imagine. I moved from Seattle to Boston, and it does seem harder to make friends out east. Hmm. All right, so now I got to remember when I'm going to stitch these, not to. Um... Okay, so all right, so maybe I'm getting my girl. Okay, so Rain Girl, you're Cindy. 
KJ Rain, I haven't seen you for a long time. And remind me of your first name, please. Look at, I'm wiggling my finger at her. I'm looking at my phone and I'm wiggling my finger. I want to see Karen, but I don't know if that's right. Oh, you're from California? Oh, my. Oh, my. I would think that would be a tough place to exist. All right, so that might be good stitched together. Now, see, look how cute this is. Maybe I could just use this for a decorating piece. So I still have, hey, Angie Brown, there's our Ange. How's your back, Ange? See, that's a cute piece. That would look cute on a piece of muslin, huh? Kelly. Oh, not Karen. Kelly. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember you. I just couldn't remember your real name. Okay, cool. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. All right. So maybe I can make this. Don't you just love a square, a square book or square, square journal? Look. How cute would that look? All right, so maybe maybe for this one, I just use my denim. Let's pin this together. Still the same? No, that's bummer. Are you doing any heat? Any hot or cold compresses? How the um, and how did the uh, market go the other day? I saw that you guys were on, but I didn't didn't tune in. You know what? I didn't bring a drink out here. Oh, silly! That's silly. All right, I think I don't want this as big. Where did I put the? I did that and left a little bit of an edge and then came this way. Might need to take a little bit of this off, I think. Kathleen, good morning. I was thinking um, I could do what Kellyanne does this morning. Come on for a little bit. Do a couple of things. I'll get some of this minutia organized with company. And then come back on for my regular stream. It's a lovely idea. Heating pads are great, yes. I have a heater blanket. It helps my knees feel better. All right, so now I'm also going to pin this to this. So when I go to stitch it, I know that I want this on the front cover. All right, now some things I think I have to let go. See, now here again, this might not be a bad cover for a little grunge journal, but see the inside looks yucky, 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 yucky. So I need something to line that. That maybe doesn't look too shabby. Oh, look. How about that? Oh, yeah, baby. That'll work. Okay, so I like this side better. So let me pin this on. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Now you know what I'm doing. Just gonna pin this, you know, just really 
cattywankus, just not real great. And then I have to think about thread for my sew machine. I'm thinking about putting my sew machine right up here on my disc. But I don't know if that's a great idea. You probably can't see anything and it's, you know, heavy. Heavy. I lived in Pennsylvania my whole life until I was about 60. And then we moved to Jersey, which isn't far, but Pennsylvania has my heart. And of course, the area of Pennsylvania that I grew up in, I know it like the back of my hand. So it's like home, you know. So. I mean, I had some really good friends in the church where we raised our kids, but all of our kids are old now, and those friends, you know, some of them have moved on. My one really good friend is in Colorado now, so that's, you know, they're our pinochle buddies. I just love this little piece of fabric, and look at this cute piece. See, this is the problem. I really like this piece of fabric. Can you see right there? That's a stencil. But I don't remember how I did this. Maybe I should go back and watch some of my videos. I had a couple different pieces like this. This might have been using um, that paint pigment powder I have. And I see, I think that's a little too small for a journal. But see, that doesn't look bad because it bled right through. That's something to think about later when I do some jelly printing. Hmm. All right, I'm running out of bits here let's see now this piece this was the bottom half of a napkin i think a cloth napkin see the edge and then in here we've got some of that what do they call this um open work i would love to know how they do that i should look for a video but see, that side doesn't look too terribly bad. But see, I, I don't care about losing this. I wonder how easily this tears. I don't care about losing that edge, quite frankly. Nope, that's not going to tear. Yeah, I don't I don't cut fabric very well. See how like it wiggles? And I have a crooked eye, like Mary like Mary says, I have a crooked eye. I'm gonna get rid of that jazz. This is gonna slide. Maybe if I pin it, it'd be a little better. Let's see. Crayon apple. Oh, that sounds good. We're talking about breakfast. Is Auntie giving us the meal for the day? Oh, Cheryl's having raisin bread and peanut butter and tea. Never thought about raisin bread and peanut butter, if I'm honest. 
All right, I want to move these pins down. See if I can whack this edge off. Hmm. Whoop. And Caddy Wonk is there. It's not even there. Let's see if we can trim that a little bit. I love raisin bread, but see, I like it with cinnamon and sugar. So I was it what, Kel, was it you last night I was telling? I either talked to Kel, Kathy Cal, or Jacqueline. And then my sister's in the evening. I'm a sugar monkey. I love sugar. What did they say? Press the material. Fold, then cut. Yeah, I don't know if I pressed this one, quite honestly. I don't know if that's good for anything. It kind of looks, see how it bled? Can you see how it bled? It kind of looks a uh, little neonish. Yeah, it was Kel. I told her I'm a sugar monkey. Of course, they watch these reels. They don't help. This kind of blood through this might not be too bad as a... Maybe this would be a good wraparound journal. Hmm? Kind of like that. Ow. You like this one? Botanical looking? Yeah, thank you. We are having macaroni and cheese. Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, deviled eggs, and coleslaw. Where's my little... Where's my little water spritzer? I got a little water spritzer around here somewhere would be good to, um, I think, dampen this fabric a little bit. And help me get a better press. I just saw it. I just saw it. A puppy must be asleep or else she's ripping the house up. I should go check on a. How am I on time? What are, What is it looking like time-wise here? 10. Oh, maybe I should get, get going. And then get this stuff kind of put away so I can do some printing. I have paper I want to print on, but I don't want crazy colors. I have one of those little wheelie things, too, but I don't use that too well, either. Gosh. Do you ever have days where you just don't feel like you're good at anything? Look, if I put that there. I'll tell you what, you know. Brain girl, if you can find a couple gals that you have, you know, things in common with. Even though you're you're texting and it's online, I mean, Kel and I had really a great week, right? We didn't know each other. We didn't even know each other from a bag of beans. And Kathy, Cal, and I have never met in person, but we have a really nice friendship, and we stay in touch and keep up with each other's lives. And then I have my Jacqueline, who's really like. A bonus daughter for me and she's such a blessing so that's this is probably not real dull I mean not real sharp so 
don't discount, you know, online friends. And then, you know, oh, I can't press enough. You might be able to someday meet and spend time together. Like, I just can't wait till I can meet Jacqueline. Quite honestly. Boy, that blade must really be dull, huh? I think I have blades somewhere, but goodness knows where they are. Ooh, look, it's starting to cut. This should be easy, though, right? Who's the fabric girl in here? Is there any fabric girls in here? Well, Stacy, I think Stacy's pretty much an expert on a lot of stuff. She does a lot of good stuff. Anybody watching or anybody here? Stacy May has a her channel. She opens it at ten o'clock. I think most days, right, Stace? And she does a lot of different stuff. You just go in, hang out, do your own thing. There's girls in chat if you feel like chatting. If you don't feel like being by yourself, you're working on a project. And then if you got questions, Stacy can answer a lot of different questions. Here she goes, what she says. 10 weekdays, 11 weekends. So she knows a lot of different craft stuff. She can help you out with a lot of stuff if you have questions. That even just made a nice little mark. See if I line this up here. This doesn't have too many lines on it. I don't know if I have anybody here. Oh, Gail's here. Gail, if you can, I don't know if I'm unmuted. She might still be talking to her dad. I don't know. Is anybody else, Gail, here? Oh, Kel, I didn't make you a, a mod yet because I'm not in. Um, oh, I should do that right now because I can flip it over. Hold on, let me let me make my mouse come awake. Cause you see, you have to do that from oh, if I can get to my keyboard, you have to do it from YouTube. Um, Gail, could you pop in Stacy May's channel for me, please? That would be so great. All right, so view your channel, and I go to live, and there we are. Hear me? Edit video. Oh, no, no. I don't have to edit video. I have to come over. Look, no. See, that's wrong. That is that is incorrect. So now I got to find Kellyanne. I told her I was going to do this, what, weeks ago. Click. Put user in timeout. Well, I don't want that. How come? How come I'm not seeing the? Um, maybe it's a star. No, I just gave you a star, Kel. I don't know what that means. Oh, that puts your <laughs> the three little lines is not giving me where I can add you as a um add you as a uh, monitor. Monitor, moderator. Oh, no, I can't get that undone. Oh, I have to click hide, maybe. She's come undone. Maybe do I have to right click? Is somebody telling me what to do? Thanks, Gail.
thanks a lot yeah and then if anybody's watching and they want company they can go and hang out with Stace. Oh, he used to be right at the bottom there. All right, I guess I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still in. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a goober. I'm still in um, StreamYard. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now let's see if I can do it. I'm not getting the three dot. Oh, there they are. Spoke too soon. Keeps chat keeps jumping. There we go. Well, I think I did it. Yeah. Kel Rawson is now uh, okay. Okay, I think I did it. I think I did it, Kel. <laughs> Janet Nash. Good afternoon. Okay, so let's see. See, I already have my thumbnail made for later, so I want to make sure I do what I said, but now I feel like stitching some of these. That's not bad. Okay. All right. All right. So Aunt Beck just popped on. She's doing a haul. Look, I can stitch those. I think I can work with that. All right. So let me just, I don't even know if you can really see what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to pop off. Go check on my my puppy. And then I'll be back on around 11. Not around 11. I'll be back on at 11. I don't know why so I do things like that. All right. So this is probably going to be a little wraparound type journal. We'll see. This one was the dark black kind of grungy. And this will be the inside. I'll just stitch around. And then turn it inside out. And see, then I'll either stitch up close to the top or I'll do some hand stitching. This is just going to be a denim, but see, I like this printed piece. So that's going to go on the cover somehow. I've got quite a few. See, this one's not too bad. It's got a nice little print in there. I'll stitch around, turn it inside out. That will be a nice little journal. See, now I want pages to put in these, but I don't want psychedelic, wild, you know, jelly plate prints. And I have paper that I can cut up and use. So I don't know if I'm going to use coffee or maybe I've got some of that Timmy stain that's like, you know, the, I'm pretty sure I have vintage photo or walnut or something like that. So this is going to be a bigger one. And I might have to slip something in between there to make this like a, a hardcover one. We'll see. And this one, I'm still looking for a backing. See, I put glitter on, not glitter. I put glitter paint on my gel plate. So some of this has got a sparkle, which I do like. Now, except for that edge, which I could put lace or whatever, right? That'll make a cute journal cover. But see, then it's yucky on the inside. Don't like the yucky on the inside. And I like this denim, but I like that. So I have to incorporate that somehow. Thank you, Janet. This one is a really lightweight, it's kind of 
doesn't feel satiny, but it doesn't feel like um, it doesn't feel like um, muslin either. And whatever I was doing on the plate that day, it just kind of bled, and they almost look like you know bladders, like whole color bladders. But I really like that, and this is real soft. So I think that'll make a cool cover. I think we're supposed to have nice weather this week. We're kind of looking forward to that. See, here's another one. I like this. But see, to make a make it as a cover, the inside's yucky. So I need an inside for that. I need an innie. And then I had this blue. That'll make a cute little one. That's scrap. These are a couple I think I did before you all got here. Same with this. Whatever this fabric is. I don't know if this was um, alcohol ink or who knows what I used. But see, it just kind of soaked it up and it bled. So it's kind of cool. Of course, it's purple, so to me, it's delicious. Delicious. So what I'm planning to do is stitch around, leave an opening, turn it inside out, give it a good press. Good morning, Christine. And then use it as a journal cover. And then either, you know, blanket stitch around it. So these are kind of in the same color family. I've got a pink and then I've got some pink and yellow, but that'll do for an inside out cover. And then I have this little piece that I think I want to put on something as decoration. All the other bits, I think I might have to just pack up and just either throw away or give to Goodwill. See, my husband would say, why are you giving that to Goodwill? Who wants that trash? But see, there could be somebody like me wanting it. Now, this fabric is very strange. It almost looks like um, a cleaning cloth. But see, that's cute, right? Wouldn't that be cute on a cover? But see, there again, it's on the wrong side. So I'm not sure how to make that work. It almost is like a microfiber. It feels like it would stick to my fingers. But see, I like that print. So now I'm going to switch gears. I said I'm going to get off. 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 There, look. I've got that. I've got this. And... Yeah, that is a cute stencil. off. This I did with a, well, okay, I chat too much. All right, so I'll be back at 11. Thanks for coming in and joining me early as I worked through some of my, my jazz and got a little organized. So I'm going to get my gel plate out. I'm just going to do small stuff, I think, today, just some pages and probably nothing too jazzy. All right, so if you can, I'll see you at 11. Don't forget, take time to be creative, and I'll see you soon. Ugly Nail Sunday.